Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this watercolor rose flower arrangement. And I have to apologize right up front, I am getting over a little cold, so if I sound a little bit different today, that's why. All right, I am getting started by mixing this dark red orange color. I start my rows by starting in the center and I'm just rinsing off my brush to create the illusion of the petals getting lighter as it goes out. I'm just letting the paint that I already have down bleed into the other petals. It's going to leave this really nice organic look. I'll go back in a little bit and add a little bit more paint to the center of the rose to make that even darker. And now I'm starting on my second rose. Same thing where I start in the middle and I add those little petal shapes. They're kind of like stretched out C curves. On a rose, the petals do get bigger as they go out. And so I'm making sure that the strokes that I'm creating also get a little bit wider or fatter as I go out. and adding some little tiny flowers up in this corner. Now, I didn't sketch this out beforehand. I'm just doing this freehand. A lot of my paintings are freehand like this. Sometimes I do like to sketch it out so I know kind of what I'm doing beforehand. But a lot of times I do the same kind of composition where I know I'm going to have an odd number of flowers because that just adds interest. And I know it's going to flow with my composition. And as far as what colors to choose, I'm really just going off of what colors I feel like it needs in a certain area. I don't know if you've heard of the rule of thirds or the triangle rule, but your eye really flows from one part of the painting to another if there are groups of three. So right now we have those three flowers, the three groups of berries. We also have the groups of three in that peachy orange color. So you can kind of see that going on as I keep adding. So here I'm adding that same color just right over the top of that first rose and those roses have dried completely. Now with that other one I added water first and then I added a little bit of the dark paint so it could kind of spread around organically. Now here I'm mixing a paint to add some leaves. And I'm just putting down a foundation of leaves right now. So see how I'm working in those groups of three? Started with those first leaves with the light peach rose and then I went down to the other rose and now I'm going up to the top. I'm just trying to make the piece feel balanced. So now I'm moving down next to those berries and I know eventually I'm gonna go in and add more detail to those berries so I'm not totally worried about having everything connect to the center of the flower arrangement yet. Now I'm switching brushes. So the first brush I was using is my Winsor & Newton size six brush and I love that brush, it is awesome. The only thing that I don't use it for is for finer details because the brush is rounded at the end, it does not have a sharp point like this brush that I'm now using does. So that's why I switched brushes is because I'm working into the little 
details of the painting, like the center of those little flowers. Right now, I mess up on this painting. <laughs> and I was like contemplating, do I start over? Do I just scratch it? And then I decided I was just gonna make it work. So I am going back in, I rinsed off my brush and then I dabbed off the extra water onto my paper towel. And now I'm just kind of trying to blend out that dark color that I put on there that I ended up not liking. So you can see I'm just trying to blend it out to where the petals already are so that it doesn't look like there's this dark spot on the flowers. I'm just making the flowers a little bit darker. Which wasn't my intention to start out with, but we are making it work. Now I'm going over the top again with that darker pink color. Again, not my favorite look, but we're, we're making it work. So I want to mix a really rich dark green. And to do that, I added that dark kind of emerald green and that brownish color. And if I added a little bit of red to that, it would kind of mute it out a little bit. Just going in with those little details. And I'm starting with the berries, but then I'm going to go back around and just keep adding details as I feel like they need them. So I added this leaf in and then I felt like it needed to be a little bit darker. So I'm going back in and adding some dark, but then I was like, nah, it needs to be even darker. So <laughs> I'm gonna paint it darker. But now that stands out. So I need to add more dark green somewhere. So I'm bringing these leaves up this way. attempting those center flowers again, but this time I'm not going as crazy. I'm just gonna leave them really tiny in the center. I decided the center of my roses needed to be just a hair darker. please leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. For free guides and other goodies, head over to snowberrydesignco.com and sign up for my newsletter. Thanks again for watching, bye!